Good morning. Morning team. Welcome to another episode of Outside Normal. Um, so we're currently in Ballarat. Just got out of the hustle bustle of Melbourne, which and you would have just seen. <laughs> and we're just about to head off. And just regrouping after a crazy week in Melbourne. So catching up on washing and just life in general. Um, so today we're heading to... Heading to Donald. So we're going to go up through the Pyrenees. There's a couple of cool places that we're going to stop at on the way. Uh, including St Arnold. Yes, there's uh, silo art and mural art in St Arnold, which I'd love to have a look at. So we'll take you with us. Awesome, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> no clouds here. Trust me to choose the spot with all the trees so you can't see it. Um, we just got a pie from the Pyrenees Bakery. Um, I had a really nice cauliflower, cauliflower cheese, cauliflower cheese pie. <laughs> what do you have? Me, I had a camel honey and soy. Wow. And it was good. Yeah, recommended. And go, then... go Warwick. <laughs> Um, so yeah, well worth the stop. We've um, visited this area quite a few times in the past. Um, in fact, we nearly brought a property at Moonabu, which is not very far from here at no. all. Um, so we really like this area. Um, but we haven't been down to the Chinese garden. Uh, so we're going to have a wander down there now. So out here in the background are the Pyrenees Ranges. Beautiful, love this place. It is. So that little house we just went past was the one that we nearly brought. And here's the only business in town. Hotel and resort now. <laughs> so there's really not much here. Um, there's a little bit of a historic precinct, there's a lookout, and there's quite a few wineries here as well. Um, I noticed on weekend camps they only missed one winery down, but there are quite a few salad doors and uh, wineries here. Um, but yeah, it's just really nice at the sort of foot of the Pyrenees mountains. And um, there's lots of exploring you can do in the area as well. There's roads through here over the other side of the Pyrenees. There's all sorts of bush tracks you can do some four wheel driving on. Yeah. So it's a great little spot. Very close to a boca and St. Yeah. And it's not far from Melbourne. Yeah. And your major big town is Maryborough, which is about half an hour from Liverpool. Um, so it's part of the Pyrenees Grampian Wine Trail, so there's uh, definitely reason to stop in Moonabool. Yeah, this place, it's new. Awesome. 
restaurant wine tasting. Mm. pretty cool so we're in St Arnott's um, just where we're parked behind us is a mural uh, on a shed which looks pretty cool and he's literally looking across the road at the Salalat The artist of these amazing black and white portraits and who also did the silo art in St. Arnott's is Kyle Tawning. So there's uh, three of these black and white portraits or murals. Uh, this one's called Mates. just so good I love them I've not seen black and white ones before and uh, really loving the style one's right in the middle of the main street. Um, we're in the car park, literally, of the Donald Hotel. <laughs> this is our campsite for tonight. So we're just um, refreshing and then we'll go for a bit of an explore through Donald and uh, Guess we better pop into the Donald Hotel and uh, at least have a drink. We'll catch up with you later. So we just uh, all packed up and thought we'd have a bit of a walk. This is beautiful gum tree behind me here. And it looks like the town has a big fish. Well, what were you saying? The fish. What about it? It was a fish from one of the games, Commonwealth or Olympic Games or something, and Donald bid for this and they won it. And I'm pretty sure if you have a look down there, and I haven't been there, have a look down there, that's what that thing said. <laughs> Smarty pants, he knows everything. So the stump that's in the water is actually called. Bullock's head and the big bulby thing sticking out from it's the head and it looks like he's lost one of his horns.
Did I get that right? I think that's right. <laughs> but I think it actually also fell off and they've reattached it. Walking down the main street, this building to me looks like something which could be out of Back to the Future. I don't know, what do you think? I think it's just the clock and all the electrics at the top. Um, really cool little town, there's lots of murals and um, old buildings here which is kind of cool. Hello, so we're here at the Donald Hotel. Um, we've parked out the back in their car park, uh, which is free. Uh, we've just come in to have a little bevy. We've done a nice little walk through the town. She could have done all of this after we had a drink. Oh, a sorry. Man's, a man's not a camel. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> now I'm good. Okay, okay cool. Carry on. So um, it's warm. It's so nice to be warm. Uh, the forecast was for 20 degrees up here. Uh, I don't think it feels quite like 20 degrees, but it's really lovely. Well, it was earlier, and I mm. think it's still 17 or 18 degrees now, so... in Birchip. Um, this is part of the Mallee and there's a big bull here, a Mallee bull. So we're going to go and check that out. So we're here at the Mallee bull. Check out the bollocks on him. <laughs> So big red, the Mally bull with the big balls. <laughs> so I just spotted that in this cafe behind us, they're using Mahalia coffee. So Mahalia coffee is roasted in rope, where we're from. How cool! little alleyway so this old building here is the Shamrock Hotel up here at Sea Lake and uh, the silo art here is spectacular. Um, it's titled The Space in Between and it's by Brisbane based artist Drapel and the Zookeeper. Um, so the mural depicts a young girl swinging from a Mallee eucalyptus tree and gazing over Lake Tyrrell, uh, the big open sky which gradually fades from dusk to night. So let's have a look.
into the town of Sea Lake and there's murals everywhere. <laughs> uh, clearly it's the way uh, that small towns are doing it these days. So this is by the same artist that did the silo, uh, Drupal and the Zookeeper. And then we've got more work on the other side. This one's by Peter Carmichael. Beautiful old building there. Uh, yeah, the Royal, um, but everything's uh, really cool around yeah. here. Just uh, having a quick look and like, almost every spare inch of space has a mural on it. Which is awesome. And I've just noticed this cool wooden door in front of us. So another one here by Drapple and the Zookeeper. So this one's called Stitch and it's by the same artist Drapple and the Zookeeper. Wow, I'm definitely overdressed. It's very warm here, which is great. We've been chasing the warmth for a while, so it's nice to finally, finally get some. <laughs> this is a really pretty town. I was just talking to a local here, and there used to be a rally in the town, um, like a car rally thing. And this little bit of artwork uh, represents the Mallee Rally. And once again, it's by Drapple and the Zookeeper. Um, the local chap also said that um, they're hoping to get him back to do some more work here. And uh, yeah, the town's constantly improving. Good to hear. So the Mallee Rally used to be held around Lake Turrell, uh, it was an annual thing and it sounds like Covid sort of put an end to that. Um, yeah, so hopefully they'll get it back here one day. We've arrived here at Lake Turrell, which is just out of Sea Lake. Um, and this is where they used to have the um, racing, car racing. Lake Turu. Um, I'm not sure why it's pink. There's something here. I'll just have a quick read. Yeah, mirror, mirror on the lake. Um, so when the conditions are right and uh, shallow water fills the lake, you'll get a sky to lake mirror effect. 
and I'll show you a little image of what that looks like. So yeah, pretty spectacular. I'm assuming because it's got a pink tinge to it that there's salt in it, which is probably also why the community is called Sea Lake. But I'm not 100% sure. Oh yeah, solar evaporated levels behind a salt crust. Yeah, there you go. So that's where the pink comes from. And there is a salt um, works here somewhere. Oh, cool. I'm not sure where it is, but around this district there is salt works. Hmm. So Brenton was just saying, pretty cool infrastructure out here for being in the middle of nowhere and I agree. Um, got a nice ablution block here. It's amazing, look, very clean, tidy. Um, there's like washing facilities if you want to probably camp here, which I don't know that you're supposed to, but... It's pretty awesome. Mm. Up at the Lake Turrell um, area for a nice lunch break, so pretty nice view. Looks like we're about to get a bit of weather, so we're heading off. Oh, and it looks like they've got some self-contained accommodation and a caravan area coming up um, over here. So the weather was so horrendous that we didn't make it to Uyun tonight. Um, we've pulled up at Sub Tank, Tank Reserve. Reserve. Um, the rain has finally cleared somewhat and there's a stellar sunset outside so I'll just show you um, our spot for the night. This is free, uh, self-contained. Obviously take all your rubbish with you as well. 11 k's from Uyun. Oh, Brenton just said it's 11 k's from Uyun. Obviously, we're not the only campers that got uh, stuck in the rain. Uh, there's a couple of other caravans here as well. But how good is the sunset? Yes, it is right on the highway, um, but you know, it'll quieten down a little bit later on. Oh, it's living a bit of a rainbow. I don't think sunsets get any better than this. Maybe over the water, but hey, the bush is good too. Good morning. Morning. Cold morning this morning. Ooh, is it ever? So we're in Ooyin. Ooyin. I can't say it right, sorry. Look, right there. Ah, and we've come to see the big Mallee stump. The largest Mallee stump found, apparently. There you go.
<laughs> That's a pretty big stump. <laughs> That's what all the girls say. The big Mali stump. So we had an interesting night. Um, obviously the weather was pretty bad and we stopped over um, at a reserve. Yep, roadside reserve. Roadside which is reserve. Really good. So this morning our grey water tank's full, our toilet's full, and there's no dump points and Uyen. Uyen. No free dump points. We have to go to the caravan, caravan park. park. So we'll have to just um We head on to Pinaroo. We've later. got a we've got a really good spot in Pinaroo, looks like, and that has a dump point and showers and free firewood and it's a free camp. Yeah, so we can sort ourselves out there. But uh, in the interim we're seeing what sites we can on the way. Awesome. And there's more solo out coming. Oh yeah, heaps more today. We're so excited about that. <laughs> Catch you later. So we stopped off at the Uyen Mallee Bakery. Uyen. <laughs> Uyen. So I just can't get that right, sorry. Um, and they were busy, so it took quite a while for our coffees, but that's okay, they're really delicious. And what led us there was a sign on the way into town that said the Great Vanilla Slice Triumph. <laughs> so it sounds like a competition that they do down here. Um, we don't know whether these guys have ever won it, but we thought we would get some vanilla slice. And give it a go. <laughs> and give it a go. <laughs> Ching Cheers. <laughs> Custard's really nice and creamy. It is. Nice um, base on it. Mm. I've got to say, rate it. Well, good luck. Owen. Owen? Owen. Owen. <laughs> Melly Bakery. Hope you win. Cheers. Leave this video here for this week but join us next week we have more silo art more free camping and some rather large bollocks thank you everyone who has subscribed we really appreciate you you guys are legends and if you haven't subscribed it costs you nothing um, please do it helps us grow our little channel um, if you've liked this video give us a thumbs up and we love to hear your feedback so drop us a comment below and uh, we'll see you next time over and out